Welcome back to Bucket List, the series documenting my quest to complete 29 new to me experiences in honor of closing out my 20s. It's true. I'm the last white woman living in New York to have never taken a yoga class. Luckily, my gym offers a variety, and despite the strict no phone policy, they graciously let me film so long as I didn't bother anyone else. So please excuse the low studio lighting and take this list app for what it is, a woman trying her best. The first 10 minutes were spent waking up my flexibility while anxiously surveying the room to see if my poses were correct. I felt intimidated amongst the long, lean, flexible people in their matching exercise sets, but I kept reminding myself why I was there, to relax the mind, stretch the body, and try something new. <clears throat> Soapbox moment. You know, Bucket List has challenged me to examine aversions I've stubbornly held on to. Yoga was one of them. I didn't think I was a yoga type of person, whatever that means. Thankfully, as I age, I feel perfectionism, limiting beliefs, and the weight of other people's thoughts slipping away. Surrendering to new experiences has brought joy, confidence, and needed growth. But girl, please, I'm still human and was plenty awkward. Maybe I took four breaks. Perhaps a fart or two escaped me. Sorry. At least I was in the corner away from others and and trying my best. Yoga is harder than it looks, but definitely doable for most. Not to get too political, but we really need to stretch our bodies more. Like every damn day. Class concluded in child's pose, deep breaths, hands over heart, and a meditative state. I did it. My body felt good. Probably the best stretch the old girl has gotten years.